Hi there, Smart Alec from Vacuum Smart here. Today I'm going to show you how to access the brush roller, the brush bearing and the clutch in a Dyson DC07 and DC14 vacuum cleaner. First step is to tip your machine upside down so that you can see the base plate. I'll just wait for my cameraman to come in. There are three lugs here that you need to turn 90 degrees and this just comes away. Now this is going to fix a couple of fairly common problems. One is that the brush roller gets jammed and it creates a very loud ratchety noise and the other one is that um, you get material caught in the bearings at the end of your brush which can also slow the brush down, wear out the clutch or create that same ratchet noise. Now I'm going to use a brush removal tool but if you don't have one of these it is possible to do this with a screwdriver it's just much much harder. So you lever the belt up and over our bridge here and that allows the brush to come out fairly easily and from here we can have a look the ends just twist off, like so, and you can have a look for any material in the end here, and here, your best to actually pop this drive shaft back in and tap until the bearing itself actually comes out, and just check that it rolls nice and smoothly. There's one on the other end as well, take that out. and there it is. Now if your bearings are slow or a little bit rough you're going to need to replace these. They're a size 625. Fairly commonly available from any bearing supplies place or of course online retailers. Pop those two back in and they go on and just sit to one side. When you hold the ends it should be able to turn fairly easily like that. Now you take off the belt from the bridge and what you have to do now is hold the front while you gently lever the back. If you can see what I'm doing here, I'm holding the front and levering up the back. And the same over here, hold the front, lever up the back. And that allows this cover plate to lift out of the way. This gives you access to the clutch now. If I wanted to change this clutch out, the next step is to put a small flat blade screwdriver just behind this part here of your clutch assembly. Push that in and lever it out. Then while you hold that, Turn the machine around and do the same part here, that will lift off. Now the clutch has got three screws, one here, one here and one which is hidden by our U-bend. So you lift that up and it's down there. You'll need a number 15 Torx driver to get at these. I'll just quickly undo these to show you. The plate comes off and now you can see that the clutch to drive shaft belt goes from there to here. You need to unhook that and then use it to lift up the clutch assembly. Now one of the most common causes of a worn out clutch will be seen here. This white pulley often ends up with melted belt on it and it will turn black and it won't run freely. If this is at all stiff or not rolling it needs to be replaced completely. If this belt is much longer 
this belt can be replaced on its own. Fairly easy to put this back into place. You just line up your two holes here and here with your locators there and there. And it'll click into place. Pull your belt up and just test it that it runs freely and again here if that runs freely and this belts in position the clutch is installed properly. You'll need to note that this arm here lines up with the body here that's what actually engages the belt when you lower the handle down. Now I'm going to quickly put this back together but take your time when you're doing it, particularly the first time, so that you don't make mistakes and need to pull the job apart again. dropped a screw down there so I'm just going to grab that back okay so all three screws are in now now's the time to put your dress cap on you just line up your cutout with the arm and that just presses on. At this point, your internal hose goes onto this chute here. So it's the one closest to the clutch. And that just presses on as well. Now when this goes back on, you just position it in the gap on both sides. And as you pull, you're pulling it back towards the body of the machine. Try and do both sides simultaneously so that it's a smooth and even fit. Now you need to get out the brush removal tool and put your belt on that side first and then this side second. You line up the smooth section under here, remembering that the brush has got small locator points here and they're on the part closest to you. Just push them down and now you can lift the belt off and back down. Here's another chance just to roll the brush and test that it's running freely. And now you put your base plate back on do up your screws don't forget to put your u-shaped bend back on otherwise you won't have any suction in the upright position that latch is on there you have it a clutch removed and a brush roller checked on a DC-14, but it also works on a DC-07. That's another tip from Smart Alec for Vacuum Smart.